हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज चैत्राली देशमुख आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आर बिहाफ ऑफ न्यूज पोर्टल द डेकन एक्सप्रेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मीट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंस पर्सनालिटी इन खाके एन आई आई टी एन फ्रॉम कानपुर एंड सर्विंग आई पी एस फॉर ऑलमोस्ट थ्री डेकेट्स ही इज करंटली कंसिडर्ड एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वाइब्रेंट एंड सब्जेक्ट ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर हिज लीडरशिप एंड प्रोबिंग क्वालिटीज हिज वर्क हैज क्रिएटेड हिज ओन आइडेंटिटी एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंसल ल्यूमरस पुलिस ऑफिसर विद सिटीजन सेंट्रिक एंड इफेक्टिव पोलिसिंग क्वालिटीज He started from Bhandara district during his probation period and his first task itself has paved his own identity in taking corrective measures by arresting naxals and anti-social elements too as sp of gadchiroli area he has stressed on mass contacts program for citizen to develop and catering in bridging the gap between the police and localities in order to understand their grievances while serving in usmanabad he has initiated concept of one village one ganpati which has created an acceptable model across maharashtra as well as in the same duration he has also caught hold of various notorious records in that area similarly he stressed on community harmony as well as also worked in parbani nanded mumbai served in ats srpf as well as worked in the training and specialist units vip securities head he has rooted his benchmark in all different shades of khaki policing apart from his using law as a tool he has addressed and highlighted the most neglected aspect he has investigated lot of cases under meteorological act and rules regulation provisions currently in pune city police he is chief of police one of the most handling difficult tasks and sensitive area he is handling punekar curbing the crime covid crisis citizen grievances as well as malpractice racket sir is in the news of lot of malpractice rackets that has burst in current situation about the recruitment process in defense ct and health department today his vital role is the key role that he has played in his three decades of services has kindled the various dimension of policing this is none other than i'm talking about not real amitabh but a real ips amitabh gupta sir today in a special episode the officer we are going to talk to him i welcome you sir thank you chetali and welcome to all the viewers on the deccan express.com thank you sir which is the biggest challenge you think is considered as uh, in police department sir the gangsters are the biggest problem the gangster the underworld these are considered to be the biggest problem but uh, they mostly lead to the uh, situation of anarchy or uh, insecurity in the city common public is more concerned about the street crime and traffic so this there has to be combination of these three two things so in last few days cyber crime cases has increased you yourself when you have served in mantralaya and special uh, task that was assigned to you you have stressed on technology and uh, that has created lot of initiative under cyber crimes and everything so what according to you you think that in cyber crime how is the recovery punishment an obstacle before the police department let me put it like that ki cyber crime is a very fast changing area the ipc is of 1876 but cyber uh, act it act came in 2000 and till date thrice it has been overhauled completely so we have to keep pace with the technology and whatever offenses and it is normally found that the cyber criminals are ahead of us or any law enforcing agency in the world because they see the loophole they are better equipped they are better trained and that is their job normally in police department people don't take cyber as a serious issue but let me put it very clearly we are very bothered about a chain snatching which may cost 50000 or 1 lakh and you may be swindled crores or rupees just like that without you knowing and your the anxiety will be less so this has to be brought into proper perspective that is why we have rehauled the whole cyber department we have created five units there we have trained people and Twenty uh, thousand complaints are coming, and we are trying to do all of them and try to give justice to one and all. So handling Pune Kar or Pune T is one of the difficult task. Now a year you have been associated with Pune Kars as a chief of command in Pune City Commissionerate. So by now you have understood their likes and dislikes. Would you like to tell us? Sir? Claiming that you understood the area is the worst thing to happen, and it should it should not happen because you keep on learning every day. But I, one thing I can tell. lot of stories people make but punekars are very straight very simple to the heart and they don't want any teda meda replies hmm. 
and they don't want anything that you want to fool them you then you will be fooled like anything be caution that you know don't fool any punekar sir is telling us and police is there to help you out so nowadays police seems to be relying heavily on social media usage and uh, investigating crime or where when it even uh, pursuing it further so do you think that social media plays a vital role these days in policing sir it has a very vital role i can tell you that at least 10% more than 10% people they don't read newspaper or see other things they are only on social media or online news or everything they never uh, there is no concept of the physical paper and then you cannot ignore that set of people just like that they love to be on social media they want to have their opinion on social media so twitter and instagram you can simply cannot avoid so all your official mediums apart from just just like a press note you have to use this medium and we have tried to use this medium we have broadly use to educate people instruct people sometime tongue in cheek and then we have participative policing also that sometime we have gone ask for the suggestion from the the social media and accordingly we have modified our schemes okay. so social media is there to stay and you have to accept it and try to excel in it so you have paved your service and worked in different segments of society all together in maharashtra so you have worked in parbeni nanded and other areas too in pune mumbai you have served so according to you which was the challenging post that you have served there can be many challenges but two post i uh, with a proper posting i considered was a uh, most different and challenging one was sp ghatchuroli so uh, at the young age of 26 i was sp of uh, ghatchuroli and then there are 50 police stations in the district lot of armed forces and you deal with them so it is a different challenge to deal with your own force to see that tribals uh, in the area are taken care and to deal properly with the naxal that was a first big major challenge then second most challenging was dcp of bandra because there the cream of the society stays there handling them is also a different task somewhere uh, the, around in maharashtra a murder will not make a noise but in bandra a small small incident makes a national headlines so you have to be very careful that image of the police or working of the police is up to the mark you are attending people and on the toes always these were the two challenging and the third i am dealing with right now as a unit in charge of the big city like pune so as a police officer we have seen that one thing that haven't changed and uh, you might have seen that that is need of change quickly so what according to you is that a need of change just, just like that in the previous question i dealt with that topic like cyber so same example cyber so you have to change you have changed your working style previously during independence the police was considered to be very ruthless now it has to be very sophisticated it has to be people friendly and side by side it starts to be very tough with the criminals also mm. so that balance is there this balance keep on changing the type of crime keep on changing 90s was the underworld right now it's a cyber in future something else will come economic offense is always growing street crime is always there cctv has dropped street crime but traffic will never be solved because it's a combined problem of all so you have to keep your style changing because certain resources are limited you cannot have unlimited uh, forces it, it is simply not, not possible in a developing country and whatever force you have 80% 90% is taken care in the routine duties so you have to play with the rest as per demand sir most of the posting in police department we have seen are considered as punishment posting sir so and uh, because uh, police department has its own characteristic of investigation and using its own manpower or using its own energy into it but you have taken up the challenge and worked in the area of most neglected law that is there that is um, one of the most effective need of daily basis that is the, that has been seen that is metrological law and regulation act so uh, sir we would like to know ki what initiative you had taken and why what prompted you to take lot of measures into mrp as an uh, i was posted in uh, legal metrology so i stayed there for approximately more than two and a half years and it was a very interesting and different experience normally we only deal with the ipc and crpc but there it was all related to consumer and the public at large and then uh, it's a basically engineer job so it is a measurement job it's a uh, instrumentation we put two three major reforms first was that everything 
the inspector to uh, control everything we made it online so the paper system was stopped and it took a lot of training and effort but today metrology is totally online which is a big thing second thing we went for lot of small small laws which was not used for the benefit of the people just as you said so mrp was the thing so we made lot of control at airport at stadium at shopping mall at cinema hall we made them comply to the mrp and that was a huge victory for public assent so it was a interesting thing the fine regulations was not so strong but public support was so large that everybody had to complain sir now identity cards are uh, given sir and then even police uh, are used for giving providing uh, the passport services that and with the concept initiated started with zero pendency so within a week time people can get their passport sir how with the less manpower that you have in city police and lot of crimes is increasing with that how did you started this initiative sir we had a unfortunate incident of one uh, attempt to suicide at our gate that shaken us and normally it was uh, that incident was also within the time limit time limit was never exceeded it was 30 days for passport for a character verification for passport it is 21 days then we took a challenge on our us that no whether it is 30 or 20 one people are getting disturbed people are not liking the, the limit which we have been put by government so let us why not make it even less and for that we increase the manpower we provided extra equipment computers put people in double shift and first we brought the pendency of both character verification and passport to zero and now once the backlog is over you can have a system where you can maintain the speed so now we are clearing everything in 3 to 4 days for character verification and for passport not more than 7 days where our physical verification has to be done sir there is a huge tussle when it comes to syndicate gangs and police person because there is lot of political influence and other anti social elements also involved into it so despite having such effective use of moka that you have been slapped against lot of 62 gangs so far you have slapped when you took a charge so do you think this is curbing the crime yes definitely it has made a huge impact if you ask any pune kar they feel very safe they feel very comfortable they say ki small small street type of gundas are vanished we had the campaign that we either you improve yourself or we will uh, if you do something wrong uh, we will take it to a logical conclusion and uh, by using mcoc or mpda we have succeeded into a large extent and people are happy about that so according to you like you mention about a campaign or that was a uh, one of the ultimate that you had given to them so you had stressed on uh, for your own redevelopment of those notorious goon no uh, our personal experience is that uh, once uh, people are too much in crime they never sudharte nahi hai so basically if you commit one crime we will come very heavily that was my message so either you stay quiet and if you do something we will uh, take it to the logical you will start but we will finish it was as simple as that so what is real amitabh gupta style of functioning i am a simple person i want to be very simple also soft dynamia and i want to maintain that i want anybody coming to me to feel very comfortable smiling face from both the side that is what i want to deal but that is for public which is 99.99% there are 0.01% criminals we deal we know how to deal with them sir uh, in police department training the police officials plays a vital role you being a chief of uh, training and special unit sir have made lot of changes into uh, the training aspect as well as you had revamped the entire structure of uh, teaching style sir because now covid is also one of the new tasks which nobody police persons were aware about it so how this concept arose to you sir uh, training also has a recruitment so let me put it like that ki first time online recruitment of the constable i started so So I use my own whatever technical background in gotchpotch manner, and somehow was able to do two recruitment online. And once you do two recruitment, things are established. We also revised all the training curriculum. We tried to revamp all the PTCs and MPA. We put up the proposal for uh, independence of the police academy, in which government ultimately approved. So now we have a head of the MPA as a total. Uh, it can be independent it can do yeah, their own works so these were the reforms we took content wise we try to create good content and we were we were happy about that whatever we did 
So because we have seen lot of Maharashtra police or even Mumbai police have been uh, compared with international standards, sir. So do you think there is some international standard that you have brought into police functioning that is needed? Yes, definitely. Because uh, when uh, international standard, if you see in foreign countries, very few people go to investigate cases. Hardly four percent cases are taken up here. If it is a cognizable offence, it is taken up. Parties, you must have seen the news and the views that we go from Kashmir to Kanya Kumari all over place during Corona also yeah. to catch hold of victims. And I can tell you, Indian police is better, hmm. better than all international polices. They may be having fancy gadget, they may be having a lot of tech support, but gut feeling and sheer hard work, nobody can match Indian police. So in police department, you yourself have been into three decades of service, sir. So you have seen lot of lifestyles. So one one side there is a rural area. Uh, then we have tribals are there, urban, cosmopolitan, creamy layers peoples are there. So uh, there is lot of manpower crisis all together in home ministry. Always a question has been asked around police department and how many recruitments need to be there. And at the same time, handling the police people, handling law and order situation, COVID crisis, women's issue, child issues are there. Everything people like they don't think even if for a small issue they call up hundred number. VIP bandobast is there. Filing charge sheets are there. So police play. Is a vital role into different different. They are a multitasker. I I believe so. So what according to you think that you know uh, the work should be segregated? There has been attempt to segregate law and order and crime, not very successful. But traffic is almost segregated. Cyber is almost segregated. Economic offense is almost segregated. But law and order and crime is still mixed up at the police station level. There has been various attempt. But uh, in future, but ha, huh, specialized units have come all over places. You have ATS to deal with terror attack. Then you have a uh, commandos to deal with the like force one to fear uh, terror attack as such prevention. That is for investigation. Then you have SRPF. So some some specialization forces are coming. There is a segregation. And uh, as uh, as you rightly said, if you want to have expertise, you have to segregate, and training has to role to play. So it is the effort is going on, and limited manpower, whatever best the police is doing. Sir, few personal questions, sir. Sir, you have been an I I I D N from Kanpur, sir, and a B Tech uh, itself, sir. And have what prompted you to come to police department? And being an I I T N, sir, we have seen where, where are today I I T N, sir. Do you think that you are very happy? No, 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 I am very happy, and it is not like that. Ki when we came into services in ninety two, it was a trend. Maybe eighties, it was not, but eighty early eighties, eighty two, eighty three onwards. In the batch of of eighty, uh, my batch was six seventy uh, eight something. Fifty uh, six were engineers and forty five were from IIT. So that trend has come. Maybe the lure of uh, powerful position they drove the engineers to this position, this area. And uh, civil services, if you see the intake is hardly hundred to hundred fifty. Mm. IIT and right now it is five thousand. Mm. More than five thousand. In fact, it is touching ten thousand. So. Competition is here is different. People want to be there, and there's nothing like that. You are downgraded while going to college. So, but what prompted you? When I passed out, I had a scholarship, and I was into mind whether to go to pursue my further studies in USA or not. And then that time in India, not good opportunities were there in this uh, private sector, and government opening was the best opening. Still, it is the best opening, but there are certain comparable. Jobs in private sector. That time it was zero. So whoever wanted to stay in India and want to be in good job, civil services was one of the option, and that is why I took it up and I wrote the civil services. So uh, you yourself is a family man and a parent all together. Two children are into IIT and already, and uh, so being. Even when it comes to serving for a citizen, sir, it's duty first, and that is also one family, important family. Then your own personal family, sir. Sir, when you are stepping inside the home, how are you? And sir, uh, when it comes to even uh, role of a father, sir, have you taken up studies of your children? And how are you as a father, sir? Let me put it like that. No wife is satisfied by the uh, any person who has uh, done the role of father. But some of my wife is happy <laughs> about that. Uh, my both the kids are in IIT. 
my elder son he did btech from iit bombay and then right now he's i am calcutta my younger daughter he is from iit kharagpur she has been selected for i am also i am calcutta and she has got from london business school also so that way i have been god has been very kind to us yes uh, kids good kids and studies doesn't happen automatically whoever claims that is wrong and uh, at appropriate mem- moments when my kids were at 11 12th i took s- something like a some non desirable posting as you said non executive side posting so that more time is there and i can devote with my kids family today also one tries to be and claims to be family man i try to be a family man so try to keep parents kids and wife happy pa- kids during corona stayed with us otherwise from 16 we have not seen the kids both were at iits but uh, god has been kind in overall situation so now you yourself mentioned that wife is never happy or like most of the time so according to you i'll pitch another way sir according to you being a good husband or good parent plays a vital role for you uh, my wife claims that i am a good parent beyond that she doesn't comment so i don't want to comment on anything else because uh, maybe time is the crisis uh, but we have a good family life so god matlab maybe my kids have done exceedingly well so no no calm about that and we have been together we have grown all four of us all six of us my parents stays with me six of us for last 20 years we have grown together so good so sir is a family man all together we have come to know sir today youngsters are drove to lot of uh, social elements we have seen real making most of them drawn to work criminal mentality then accepting them as in khaki uniform what do you think uh, for them any message for them don't uh, get uh, lured by shortcuts so you must have seen there can be shortcuts some shortcuts at the root but the, your life cannot be shortcut some tra- people try to make the whole life as a shortcut there you trip so don't go to crime things shortcut means you you have a better idea you have a better strategy you may be falling somewhere like a, some skills or social skill or emotional skill you upgrade those skills and then your that is a shortcut but don't go for a crime because it doesn't pay in long run sir you have been an iit and sir you mentioned and you have used you have also stressed in your dip, uh, in working functioning most of technology sir sir any time academics have helpful for you sir i don't know my btech has helped but yes iit give you a different mindset the rational mindset the tongue in cheek approach the being uh, from lower middle class you have a humble background i keep try to keep that background in front of me i know i know i am on this side of the table but all my relatives all my family is that side of the table so i have to think not for me for all of them together so that approach i have kept it like that so education as such or learning as such or from the life that is more important thank you sir sir uh, apart from police and we have seen you read lot of books and you are a good orator itself sir so we would like to know what are your hobbies and how do you still uh, root for it sir hobbies uh, reading i don't get much time i used to be but yes sports i do previously i used to sp- play team sports but now it becomes a crisis of management because if you play tennis you have to have three more men then there is a rotation on the tennis court so then i have shifted to the individual game like running gym you can do on your own come at your own time go then yoga i do yoga a lot of i go trekking also and then swimming these are the things i have stressed and sometime if i get a chance we have a team sports on sunday with our own staff so currently uh, in the current situation sir we have seen you have handled one of the most difficult aspects of recruitment sir because this is going on from long and when we saw the investigation also we have uh, we have seen that you know it has been into uh, because a lot of people have been con and under the name of recruitment people are taking money so what prompted you to take this tag and how difficult was it because i know that there could be a political as well as defense also recruitment was one thing that because it, there was a, another department which also was dealing with it so, so uh, i think the people have more faith in pune police so they the students the organization the ngos they were giving me lot of clues so and maybe they were giving these clues to many people but our own cyber police station or uw crime branch both the dcps bhagshi and sinuas 
they put their heart and soul and then they try to work it out and all the leads were taken to a logical conclusion it is never ending because if you see the magnitude as you go deep it gets expanded mm. so i don't know whether we will be reaching till the end because everybody will be different look differently but we are trying to travel as far as possible in all the scandals which we have on earth so for you uh, rehabilitation is plays a vital role or penalizing the accused depends upon the accused type of accused if there are citizen teenager youngster we try to counsel we don't want to have the record because everybody has gone through that age and you must have seen we have never done any raids on a hotel where we have humiliated people or rape party we have prevented it in self in fact we never try to arrest those people also hmm. make cases because then they have a scar on their mind and then future is spoiled and then they struggle with that thing so we don't want to do that but hmm. second criminals we are very clear okay put them behind bar so uh, you have served in enormous posting in maharashtra so we have seen in your cv itself like it was 4 to 5 pages and we have seen that you know one episode will go into reading your entire cv so which another task that you want to take after as a chief of pune city commissioner very difficult question so it is not in my hand it's actually in government hand so whatever they give i will like to do uh, some unfinished agendas are there like i was part of the ats team so when train blast took in 2006 so ats is one of the thing which which is there but it is up to government to see the suitability for the person in which job he fits more and then take decision accordingly so for police own department what is the effective measures that you take for your own manpower keeping them happy is the first thing because normally the uh, the hierarchy in police is that ki whatever you make their life miserable then only they work this is the standard practice which our sub culture has i have uh, thought and i am dealing upside down actually my many so approach are out of box thinking and this approach is also out of box i never disbelieve my subordinate i give them full freedom i keep them happy and just seeing my face they don't want me to be unhappy and so they deliver every investigation every detail every criminals whatever i my wish they they, they put it heart and soul to get it up any message that you would like to give our viewers sir uh, it has been a roller coaster journey for last uh, 15 months in pune lot of love affection from public from leadership from my own people from my own subordinate and please continue this love for till i am here thank you sir thank you very much sir for giving us time sir i'm thankful for you thank you all viewers for listening me out if you have listened me